Welcome back, childrens. Uh, last class we completed phylum Platyhelminthes and phylum Tenophora. What are the peculiar characters that are seen in phylum Tenophora? The one of the important character is bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is a peculiar character for phylum Tenophora. The special cells also present in the Tenophora. The name of the cells are lasso cells is a peculiar character in phylum Tenophora. And in Platyhelminthes, this is the first triploplastic animal. For the first time, the organ system level of organization is seen in this animal. The, for the first time, the excretory structure that is a flame cells also seen in phylum Platyhelminthes. These are the concept we discussed in previous class. And in this class, I am going to teach about the another phylum, phylum Ascalminthus. Ascalminthus means what is meant by Ascalminthus? Here it is otherwise called a nematode or a nematoda. All the animals of this phyla are round in shape in the cross section. So these animals are called a round worms. Animal elame abdir pangana cross section upo round are karanala is the pair and chumna round worms of in chum. So what is a habit and habitat of this animal? These animals are free living animal and some animals are parasitic in nature. And Ascaris lumbricoids we are going to study in this part. It is a parasitic animal. And what are the basic classification of this animal? That means uh, either bilateral or radially symmetry like that. What is the basic classification? Bilaterally symmetrical animal. And once again, I remember to you all the triploplastic animals are a bilaterally symmetrical animal. Triploplastic animal is a bilaterally symmetrical animal. Bilaterally symmetrical means is a bilaterally symmetrical animal. That means it is a triploplastic animal. And for the first time, the false body cavity that is pseudo coelomate is seen in. Ascalminthus is a expected one mark question for your competitive exam as well as board exam. Pseudo silomate animal and the organ system level of organization. These are the some basic classification of phylum Ascalminthus. Next, we move on to morphology. Their body is unsegmented body, there is no segment and it is an uh, endoparasite. That means uh, these animals are living in the intestine of the human being. So, they need a one protective mechanism, they need a one protective covering for escape from the hydro, uh, erosion of the hydrochloric acid. That is the reason here the body is covered with the cuticle. The cuticle it is a membrane which covers the outer surface of the body. Body or outer surface is cuticle. See here morphology, it is a worm like structure, elongated body and normally see here Females are larger than the male. This is one of the peculiar character. For the first time, the sexual dimorphism is seen in this animal. Modha modha nu male thaniya, female thaniya ippadha varanga. Idukku munnal arukku kudi yella phylum me monoceus. For the first time, this is a dioceus animal. Okay. The body is unsegmented and covered by a transparent, tough and protective collagenous layer that collagenous layer is called a cuticle. This is a special adaptation for a endoparasitic animal. Okay. So, what are the points we discussed in this part? First one is circular in nature in cross section. That is the reason it is called a very good round worms. They are free living or a parasitic in nature and basic level of classification. And in morphology, we discussed about a unsegmented body and the body covered with the cuticle because of it is an endoparasite okay and what is the digest system what type of digest system is seen in this animal complete digest system for the first time the complete digest system is seen in, in this group uh, that is a uh, this animal have a separate opening for a mouth and a anus so that type of digest system is called a complete digest system and this digest system Comprises the mouth, muscular pharynx, and anus. Mouth rikranga, tondai pohidi rikranga plus anus. So this is a developed 
not a well developed digestive system it is a type of developed digestive system and mouth may be possess the teeth and a respiratory system is absent circulatory system is absent uh, respiratory system it appear in the arthropoda arthropoda la mattum da arthropoda la irundha adukapra varakudi phylathil ellathilume enna irukum na respiratory system irukum and circulatory system for the first time appears in the annelida and excretory system in platyhelminthes flame cells act as excretory system that cells uh, uh, responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also that cells also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and excretory system also responsible for osmoregulation and respiration and அம்மோனியாவை வேஸ்ட் ப்ராடக்டாக எலிமினேட் பண்ணுவாங்க அதனால் அம்மோனோட்டலிக்னு சொல்லுவோம் நாட் ஒன்லி ஃபார் திஸ் அனிமல் த அனிமல் விச் ஒன் இஸ் லிவ் இன் த அக்வாட்டிக் அக்வாட்டிக் என்விரான்மெண்ட் தட் அனிமல்ஸ் மே ரிலீஸ் த அம்மோனியா அஸ் அ வேஸ்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் அம்மோனியா நீட் மோர் வாட்டர் ஃபார் அ அலுமினேஷன் எலிமினே அம்மோனியா எலிமினேஷன் ஆகிறதுக்கு என்ன தேவை அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நிறையா வாட்டர் தேவை அதனால் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த அக்வாட்டிக் அனிமல்ஸ் எக்ஸ்க்ரீட் த அம்மோனியா அஸ் அ வேஸ்ட் ப்ராடக்ட் ஓகே திஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இஸ் நாட் கிவன் யுவர் டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் கைண்ட்லி ட்ரா திஸ் டயக்ராம் இட் மே பி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ஃபார் யுவர் காம்படிட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஓகே ஹச் சேப்டு ரெனட் கிளான் அண்டர்லைன் த வேர்ட் அஸ் அ ஒன் மார்க் கொஸ்டின் ஓகே அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் செக்ஸஸ் ஹியர் செக்ஸஸ் ஆர் செப்பரேட் தட் மீன்ஸ் எக்ஸபிட் செக்ஸுவல் டைமாஃபிஷியம் what is sexual dimorphism females are larger than the male male la undu chinna kavu irukum inda kavu vachu enna panna na male kandupidikalam female normally larger in size there is no posterior cow posterior cow abingiradhu pin pin pagudhila undu enna irukana or valayam irukadhu ana inda animal la pathinga aan animal la undu pin pagudhila or valayam irukum that cow which contains a spicules which helps to reproduction okay fertilization is internal internal fertilization that means fertilization take place inside the mother's body or inside the animal's body and some animals are oviparous ascaris are oviparous that means animal can lay the egg egg lay panna kudi animal ellam enna solluvomna oviparous appdi solluvom and ucharia pangaptera this is a animal which causes a elephantiasis disease those animals are ovo viviparous that means both oviparous and viviparous organisms okay and development may be a direct or indirect direct means directly they produce the young ones indirect means first they produce the larva then followed by the the larva develops into the adult that type of uh, development is called uh, indirect development okay this is the some examples uh, the examples and uh, other name also important for match the following you have to study at least three ascaris lumbricoids this is a animal ascaris lumbricoids uh, otherwise called a round worms and uh, enterobius vermicularis the other name is uh, pin worm and uh, ucharia pancrafti uh, this is otherwise called a filarial worm these three animals are uh, important for uh, examples okay ascaris lumbricoids and uh, Entrobius vermicularis and the Ucharia bangaptera. That's all. Phylum Ascalminthus over. So what are the points we discussed in this part? Uh, first one is, uh, it is a round worm, free living and parasitic in nature, bilateral symmetry, triploplastic animal, pseudocylomate animal and organ system level of organization is seen. Okay. Morphology, the body covered with the cuticle, no respiratory system no circulatory system the complete digestive system is seen in this animal and the excretory system renat gland or renat cells h shaped renat cells and they excrete the ammonia as a waste product and the for the first time the sexual dimorphism is seen that means we can easily differentiate the male and female animals internal fertilization takes place and uh, ascaris are oviparous and ucharia fungaptera are ovo viviparous animal okay then example okay the worm which causes a elephantiasis that is called a filarial worm and this is a picture of a cuckoo okay next phylum we are going to discuss very good annelida this is important uh, phylum for your uh, board exam 
the majority of the questions are two marks or three marks you may expect this phylum important phylum okay what is meant by annelida annelida means the body made up of several rings the rings are called annulus so due to the presence of annulus these animals are called annelida okay the what are the animals comes under this category earthworm nereis leech these are the some examples for annelida okay and annelida annulus it is a latin word annulus means rings and uh, edus means form annelids were the first segmented animal in ascalmindus pseudo segmentation is seen but in annelida for the first time the body segments also seen this type of segment is called metamerism metamerism is a peculiar character for a annelida okay habitat engengela manbuluva paapinga maybe a terrestrial or fresh water or marine and some animals are a parasitic in nature leech is an example for a parasite it is an ecto parasite nereis is an example for a marine animal and terrestrial and fresh water animal earthworm is an example for terrestrial and fresh water animal okay and what are the basic classification it is a triploplastic animal bilateral symmetry zygozoelomate that means u zoelomate animal and organ system level of organization this is a common character for the animals which one is comes after the ascalmindus ascalmindus ku appra varakudi ella animalukume idu ellame common characteristic features okay here the zoelom with the zoelomic fluid creates a hydrostatic skeleton and this hydrostatic skeleton helps in locomotion what is hydrostatic skeleton hydro means water static static means to stand nelaya irukirathu skeleton the body filled with water and this water gives a shape for this animal or particular shape kudukirathu yarna and the hydrostatic skeleton da here the water act as a skeletal system that is the reason uh, this structure is called a hydrostatic skeleton this helps to locomotion and also helps to gives a specific shape for this animal okay the body surface divided into several segments these segments are a metamerism see here the metamerism is also seen and the internally the segments are separated by a wall is called septa not only for the outer surface the body segment the body is separated by externally as well as internally the internal separation is called septa okay this type of segmentation is called metamerism all the segments are equal in size is another peculiar character ella segment me enna na equal size la irukanga and this type of uh, segment is called metameric segmentation okay and what is a locomotor structure in locomotion the longitudinal and circular muscles also helps in locomotion and there are three type different type of locomotion are seen in annelida in nereis this is a structure of nereis here lateral appendages lateral means the appendages uh, located in the lateral side of the body that is a reason this is called lateral appendages that is called parapodia here podia poda podi means legs par means pad jodi kalgal nu solluvom appa para podia means pad legs okay and earthworm they contains a chitinous body setae and this body setae helps to locomotion in earthworm and leech sucker see the picture sucker is helps to movement of this animal okay so this are the three different type of locomotor structure are seen in different animals of phylum annelida okay and next uh, digestive system uh, it consists of uh, pharynx esophagus stomach and intestine in this animal the complete digestive system also seen okay and for the first time the respiration also takes place the respiration takes place through the skin that type of respiration is called cutaneous respiration தோல் மூலமா நடக்கக்கூடிய சுவாசம் அதுக்கு பேர் என்ன சொல்லுவோம் கியூட்டேனியஸ் ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் அண்ட் சம் அனிமல் ஹாவ் அ பிராங்கியல் கில்ஸ் சம் அக்வாட்டிக் அனிமல்ஸ் மே கண்டைன்ஸ் த பிராங்கியல் கில்ஸ் த பிராங்கியல் கில்ஸ் ஆக்ட் அஸ் அ ரெஸ்பிரேட்டரி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஓகே அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் சர்க்குலேட்டரி சிஸ்டம் க்ளோஸ்டு டைப் ஆஃப் சர்க்குலேட்டரி சிஸ்டம் ஃபார் த ஃபஸ்ட் டைம் த சர்க்குலேட்டரி சிஸ்டம் இஸ் அப்பியர் இன் திஸ் அனிமல் முத முதல்னு சர்க்குலேட்டரி சிஸ்டம் இந்த அனிமல் தான் அப்பியர் 
the pigment uh, underlying the word it is an important one more question hemoglobin and chloroquine these are the two type of blood pigment that are found in the blood of annelids annelid avada blood la rendu pigments irukranga hemoglobin irukranga plus chloroquine abbingra rendu pigment irukranga and excretory system nephridia in aquatic animals excrete the ammonotelic and the terrestrial animal excrete the urea or ureotel ureo means animal which one is excrete the urea as a waste product ammonotelic means animal which one is excrete the ammonia as a waste product ammonia as a waste product are released panna kudi animal ku per ammonotelic telic means to push out ammonia means ammonia that means animal which uh, excrete the or push out the ammonia as a waste product okay this is a picture uh, of uh, circular muscles and longitudinal this is a longitudinal muscles and this is a circular muscles both muscles helps to movement of this body seat in earthworm body seat is a very good locomotory structure and this is a structure of a circulatory system your closed circulatory system is seen closed circulatory system means here the presence of capillaries and the blood always remains inside the blood vessels very good and nervous system the paired ganglion is connected by the lateral nerves and to the double nerve cord i will show the diagram in the next uh, slide and reproduction by sexual reproduction copulation is takes place and development is the direct and indirect development in indirect development the larva is there the name of the larva is trochophore larva is maybe a one mark question or a diagram maybe a two mark question okay sexes monoecious earthworms uh, or monoecious animal that means uh, the single animal can produce the both egg and sperm and uh, leeches and nearies are uh, dioecious that means sexes are separate okay so what are the example for uh, this animal lambitom or this is the zoological name of earthworm and nearies otherwise called a sandworm and the leech otherwise called a cridinaria cridinaria abingiradhu enna solluva adina adu cridin abingira or substance secrete pannuvanga the substance edhukku payanpadranga adu pathina the cridin is responsible for a, to prevent the blood clotting because of it is an ectoparasite they are blood sucking parasites when they suck the blood from the host this cridin helps to prevent the blood clotting blood clotting aagama tadukkuradhukku cridin payanpadranga idu yaar secrete pandranga adu pathina secreted by the leech itself அப்ப என்ன பண்ணுவோம் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பிளட்டை சக் பண்ணும்போது பிளட்டு உரையாம எதுக்குள்ளார போயிடும் அப்படின்னா அனிமலோட உடம்புக்குள்ள போயிடும் திஸ் அ அனதர் பெக்குலியர் கேரக்டர் ஃபார் ஃபைலம் அனலிடா ஆர் ஒன் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கேரக்டர் ஃபார் லீச் ஓகே திஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் லீச் அண்ட் திஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் நீரிஸ் திஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இஸ் கால்டு பேராபோடியா திஸ் அ மரைன் அனிமல் லீச்சுங்கிறது மரைன் அனிமல் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஃப்ரெஷ் வாட்டர் அனிமல் அண்ட் திஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் நர்வஸ் சிஸ்டம் This is a cerebral ganglion and this is a lateral ganglion. Both uh, cerebral ganglion and lateral ganglions are connected by circumpharyngeal connection. Circo means circle. Where is the circle? Where is the pharynx? Where is the circle? That is the circumpharyngeal connective. This is the structure we will discuss in the chapter number 3. Chapter number 3 will be in no detail. Okay. And these are the pictures that are given in your textbook. This is a picture of earthworm, this is a picture of nearest and this is a picture of uh, leech. Okay, so what are the points we discussed in this part? First we discussed about uh, what is meant by annelida, the body made of uh, annulus or rings. They are terrestrial animal or fresh water or may be present in the marine environment. Some animals of this groups are uh, parasitic in nature. Next we discussed about uh, uh, basic classification, then what is metamerism. and what is hydrostatic skeleton this is a important two mark question metamerism and hydrostatic skeleton are important two mark question okay under locomotion there are three type of locomotory structures are seen in phylum annelida one is parapodia and body seat and shucker and digestive system the well developed digestive system is seen and respiration uh, in earthworm the cutaneous respiration is takes place that means uh, the respiration takes place through the skin for the first time the circulatory system is appear in this group 
the circulatory system is closed type there are two type of pigments are seen in this blood one is hemoglobin and chlorocurin okay and the excretory system and nephridia is a common excretory system in aquatic animals excrete the ammonia and the terrestrial form excrete the urea as a waste product this is a picture of a uh, circular muscles and longitudinal muscles and also structure of parapodia sorry structure of uh, body ct and this picture nothing but uh, this picture uh, shows the circulatory system of earthworm and uh, next next is sexes earthworms are monoecious and nearies and leech are dioecious animal then example larval stage of phylum annelida is very good trochophore so draw this diagram and uh, they reproduce by the sexual method that means sexual method na egg sperm produce aagi adula rendu zygote form aagi namakku enna kedaikum appadina or individual kedapanga okay this is all the some examples okay that's all students today class is over next class we'll discuss the another phylum we will meet next class thank you students thank you